He's heating up! Hey guys, it's Vash, and welcome to Dead Rising for the Xbox One. I'm playing on Xbox One because when I went to the store to go buy this game, they didn't have it on PS4. And I'm like, you know what, it's not even that big of a deal. I'm sure it's the same game. So what? Who cares, you know? Same game, same game. Um, so just to let you guys know that if I'm playing on an Xbox One, which means that I'm going to be using an Xbox One controller, common sense, but you'd be surprised how often people don't use that. But uh, the controller's really loud. So I apologize in advance if you can hear the waggling of the sticks or the button presses. I try to move my mic a little bit away from it, but it doesn't work because it's just too loud. It's just how the, the control is just really loud. So letting you know that now that especially when you get grabbed by zombies in this game, there's going to be a lot of stick waggling to get out. Um, we're going to be playing 72 hour mode for Dead Rising. It is going to be quite enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoy it. This is one of my all time favorite games. If you didn't know, a fun fact about uh, the Vash channel is that Dead Rising was actually supposed to be my second playthrough. And uh, I did about three or four hours of the game in one sitting. And it had no sound because of the capture card I had at the time, which was a TV tuner, was hot garbage. And it didn't record the sound. So I ended up trashing it. And I think I ended up picking Resident Evil 4. So I think it's kind of cool running this game alongside Resident Evil 4. It just reminds me of the good old days, you know, back when uh, life just wasn't that hard. But 72 hour mode, let's go on and jump on in and play some Dead Rising. September 9th, 1127 AM. Oh, this game is so much fun. Hey buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? He's got two pairs of sunglasses on. on TV. That's silly. Yeah, well I'm freelance. Never change, Capco. I don't make my living waiting Never for change. TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> yeah, don't you love it when Capcom like re-releases games and they still have all the same, like, silly glitches and problems. Like, they didn't do Here anything. They didn't. <laughs> yeah, let me take my glasses off and pull out my other pair of glasses, bro. Distinguishing characteristics? Jack shit! <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. Another fun fact about this game. What was that? The army? Is that the front cover says like it has nothing to do with the production or like crew or anything of the way to go. George Romero's I Dawn of the Dead the since they're similar with now. a zombie outbreak in a mall. I thought that was pretty interesting that they put that on the cover. Alright, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. Okay, I had to mute my mic for a second. Okay. So this intro part, which I've always learned the hard way, is you can't pause it. Um, it's a good way to gather up a bit of PP before you actually uh, get into the game. Now, because um, I know there's been many parts where I'll be like, oh, you know what, I need to go pee, and then I end up pressing the button and fucking... Ooh, damn, the control stick is... Sure is squirrely! Shawty, I don't... My... Uh -huh. Is that some kind of riot? Let's see. I guess we gotta wait for when he gets when he gets cheagled. Get all the pictures. That should be drama. Oh wait. Oh, I tried to get his good side. There we go. Is this what you came to take pictures of? 
Sure is. He's done, son. Stick a fork in him. It's ogre. They about to split him down the middle. I like how that one right there is just sitting there just swimming. Look at him. What the fuck is he swimming? Mm. What are we gasping about? For some reason, whenever I play this game, I always think... That likes if I zoom in like on the background, you'll see some like weird Easter egg or something creepy. I don't know why, but every time I play this game, I think of like like yeah, maybe if I like zoom in really close over there, I'll see some like some like just random dude getting his balls tickled like in an alleyway or something. You know what I mean? I mean not exactly that, but you get what I'm saying, right? Like oh shit, look, they got Mega Man hiding in that alleyway, like something like that. Cool. Oh yeah. Get a picture of the explosion, you get mad points. Damn it, Bob, didn't we tell you not to smoke at the fucking gas station? Zombies walking out on fire, they don't give a shit. Building right there with the lady on top. Gotta do all of this like space up here. And as I'm right there's doing thriller. It's like all the space up here. She couldn't like juke them out and get back to the door unless like the whole inside's full of zombies and she's kinda fucked. Yeah, she's kinda fucked. Now, as much as I appreciate really slow zombies, they're my favorite kinds of zombies. You know, in the in the new era. They had to make zombies more threatening, because, you know, that's like being afraid of grown toddlers with terrible motor skills, etc., etc., you know. Thing is, is that the, the whole fright, the whole fear behind zombies is their sheer numbers. Um, which... Squish? Uh... That girl got garfunkled. I should have got her while she was in the air, shit. But yeah, like, that's that's what makes him frightening, is like, you know, co getting cornered. Being cornered and there being just a very large number of them, but... I mean, I don't know, man. You guys watch Walking Dead. As bullshit that show is sometimes. You know, they, they kind of just walk past them. <laughs> like, I don't know. Kidding me. Does he look like he's kidding? Nuts. All right, listen. Don't forget to come back for me. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's going to know it in three days when I get the scoop. I don't see a problem with the butt chewing. Frank is like, hell yeah, dude, I gotta get the scoop. I gotta get the scoops.
Hello there. Huh? <laughs> Pachi Mama. You're the reporter, aren't you? Yeah. No. You came alone. Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well, like how it zoomed in on his deep V. If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little extreme, in my opinion. There's uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. Okay. Do they do they sell ice cream in hell? September nineteenth, noon. Ooh, Pachimama. Ah, <sighs> Frank must be on the heliport, the heliport, or helipad, at 12 p.m. on the 22nd, and he, or he will be left behind in the mall. Pay careful attention to the time as you play. Would you press left on the D-pad to pull up his Mega Man watch, which is pretty cool. Looks like you're the only journalist that made it out here. I'm looking forward to some nice pictures. He he he. Hey, listen, sit your bitch ass Good. still. Carlito! Now I'm not sure if, I think there's an achievement where if you take pictures of all the survivors and stuff, like all the humans. But, um... Nah, I don't fucking know. Alright, saving. You can save your progress at locations marked with an S, such as the sofa and security room or the mall's public restrooms. One thing I'll tell you about right now. Dead Rising 1, ladies and gentlemen, do not, I repeat, they do not have autosave. Make sure you save as much as possible. Because you are going to be very... Putting her in a full Nelson? You're going to be very upset when you get cheagled or you die or something. And you got to do a lot of the game over again. What I would suggest is every time you drop off survivors, go save. Or every time you pass a bathroom, save. It literally takes like 10 seconds to run in there and save. It's, it's, it's not very hard. And make sure you, you run around barefoot, because, I, I don't know, I just like the pitter-patter of, of, of Frank's little feet. <laughs> Makes me giggle. I don't know. I don't know, man. Just being barefoot cracks me up. People and their dogs, man. I understand, like, never mind. I ain't gonna go there. Not even gonna go there. Damn. Not even gonna go there. Hey, this is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? Today's youth? 
And it looks pretty uh, accurate. Especially that one. There's been more and more of them since last night. Now, they're all that's out there. Hey, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. It's funny because low key, right, with how bad the AI yeah, is in this game, all the survivors are pretty stupid and slow too. <laughs> Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On the way. Come on, pronto. Well, I told him like, listen, fucker, I'm trying to get some pictures. Shit. Frank West. I mean, Frank Frank West. Photographer. Son of a bitch. Fantastic. Oh, I got a PP sticker? What? Alright. Hi, Lindsay. I'd like to congratulate you on uh, ruining all of this. Perfect. Another PP sticker? Where's the PP sticker? I took pictures of it twice on accident. Brian and Todd. That is one nice. That is, that is nice shit right there. Brian. That is fucking lumberjack, Brian. It's tucked in too? Boot cut? Damn. Wish I learned how to dress like you when I grew up. Dana and Verlene. Verlene. Yeah, sure, Mark. Keep telling yourself that. Kathy and Alan. Every time I come shopping with you, something happens Perfect. to raise my blood pressure. What do you mean every time? You don't even come home most nights, let alone take me shopping. So? I work for a living. Work? I can take them. Is that what you call that hanky-panky with that big-titted secretary now? Oh, please. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Listen to you. She said big to the secretary. Now I'm now I'm gonna have to ear hustle. I never should have married you. You wanna split up then? Sounds great. I can't wait to see the look on your face when those zombies eat you. It'll be hilarious. That's my line, Buster. So about this uh big titted waitress. Receptionist sir. Tits. What did she say? I guess fine. I ain't gonna give up the goods. Is there a bag of chips around here? I was gonna ask. He said, like, bring something that would help, you know. I'd grab a bag of chips. That always helps me when I'm in need. <laughs> you! Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about! <laughs> What the? What are you thinking? Now see, this is when, this is when. So fucking bad. Besides the fact that all these grown ass men couldn't hold this little old lady back, I could just imagine the developers going like, "Hey, we need to. How the zombies gonna get in? I don't know. Let's." This old lady just opens the gate because she needs to get her dog. What the fuck? <laughs> what in the hell are you people doing? Run! Quick, move! Get over here! Everyone, move this way! Quick, to the stairs! Move! Damn. So here, I'm gonna enjoy this part. Let me let me make sure everybody. Difference between items, attack and throw. Uh, discard item, unequip item, change item. Got it. I mean, it's better be than them, right? Yeah, hold on. Move, move out of the way. Oh, I'm trying to get Kathy. Fuck! Get Kathy, get her! Fuck her up! Fuck her up! Oh, there goes Kathy. Listen here, Zambi. 